as you can tell from the title of today's video, it is going to be a really exciting video. Well, at least it is for me because you guys, I cannot keep a secret. I have known about this for months now and it has been killing me not to share it, not to post it, not to tell people. I actually, if you follow me on Facebook, I have actually already posted and let it out on Facebook as soon as I got the pictures done. And as well as a few close family and friends they know as well because it was killing me. I had to tell somebody. But like I said, the secret has already been out on Facebook. If you follow me there, you guys, I have been so terrible with social media lately. I need to like get back on Instagram and all of that. But for now, you guys can catch me on Facebook if you need to. But today, as you can see, I am going to be sharing with you guys the gender of our baby. I am so excited. I am so happy, you guys. This has just been, I don't know, unbelievable, crazy, unexpected, exciting, all, all of the above. Literally, it has been something unimaginable. So you can think of this video as kind of like a virtual gender reveal, even though it's not really, I didn't vlog anything. I didn't do any vlog clips. I didn't do any behind the scenes. All I did was have a little simple photo shoot as well as like little like ultrasound pictures and pictures for the baby. So it's not going to be any like vlog footage or behind the scenes. I just want to go ahead and let you guys know that now for the most part it might be like a couple video clips and then a bunch of the pictures that we did for the photo shoot. But either way, I hope you guys are as excited to see the news as I am to share the news. But before we get into the clip, and you guys, please do not cheat. Don't cheat. Don't don't skip to the end of the video. Don't watch it all the way through and then put your comment. Stop the video right now. Pause it. Go to the comments. Leave me your comment on do you think I'm having a girl or a boy? What's your guess? So we're just going to go ahead and roll the clips and get into the next half of this video. And I hope you guys are excited because we're having a... So there it is, you guys. We are having a boy. I am so excited. You guys already know I'm a girl mom. And now I get to experience life as a boy mom. And I could not be more excited because it's like I get the best of both worlds. Like, I always wanted a girl, but I also always wanted a boy. My goal, like, back before I actually had children, my goal was to have three. I wanted two boys and a girl. And you guys, I got two down. I got, I got one of each. So the next one could be a surprise. Although I'm hoping it is another boy for the third one, if we go for a third try. But I could not, I could not believe it. Like as soon as I got pregnant, like with my daughter, the whole time I was like, I want a girl, I want a girl, I want a girl, I want a girl. And then she was a girl. And then as soon as I got pregnant this time, I was like, a boy, please give me a boy. I need a boy. Please let it be a boy. And you guys, like I said in my previous videos, this pregnancy has been so different than what I was used to with my daughter. So like something inside me, I don't know if it's because I wanted it so bad or if it was my intuition like preparing me and telling me like, hey, this is what you're about to get. But something just, I felt that it was going to be a boy just because everything was so different. I wanted a boy. The morning sickness was terrible. Like all the, the feelings and the emotions and the everything was completely different. I was like, yeah, it's got to be a boy. I actually, the first time I found out, so you guys. I had to confirm this three times over the last over the last six months just to be able to like be sure and share this with you guys. So it has been a process from eight weeks pregnant to a little over six months. Like, do you know how hard that was for me to keep inside that? Like, I wanted to yell from the rooftops, we're having a boy. Like, but the first time I found out was I actually did the, um, sneak peek gender reveal kit if you guys don't know what that is 
I mean, you can Google it or find other videos about it. So the sneak peek gender reveal kit is something that you order online. I went to the website and I ordered this kit. They have two different ones where you can test the blood from your finger or you can put it on your arm. And it's really, really cool because it draws your blood and it tests for certain chromosomes to let you know if this one's present, then it's a boy. If it's not, then it's a girl. And I read so many reviews, like half of them was like, oh, it was accurate. I confirmed it with my doctor. This is what it was. And then there was some that was like, it was completely wrong and this is not what I'm having. So I was a little nervous because I spent like $80 <laughs> on ordering this thing. And I was like, if it is not right, I'm going to be upset. But this kit actually has a 99.9% .9 accuracy. So I was like, okay, I'm pretty sure whatever it says is what it's going to be. I went ahead and I ordered the one that goes on my arm. You just put the little thing on your arm, it draws your blood, you shake it up, you put it back in the box, you send it off to the lab, and within like a week or so, they will email you and send your results back. So that was the first time I found out that I was having a boy, but like I said, I just wanted to keep it a secret until I knew for sure because I wasn't too sure how that thing was going to, what the accuracy of that thing was going to be because the reviews was like so like, so like divided. And I was like, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna wait a minute. And then the second time it was confirmed that it was a boy was through the blood work with my doctor you guys know if you've gone through pregnancy blood work, they check for abnormalities, make sure you don't have like this or if you're immune to this or these diseases and the whole the whole makeup of the blood work. And I went through that. And when I got the test back from that, it said fetal sex is consistent with male. I was like, okay, two, two confirmed that it's a boy. And I was like, okay, but the third time, the third time has to be the charm. So I waited for the anatomy ultrasound. So I went in for the anatomy ultrasound and they're checking everything, making sure everything's growing, everything's in the right place, everything's doing what it's supposed to do. And they actually confirmed in that ultrasound that yet again, obviously they could have, they saw, and they confirmed that it was a boy. So I had three confirmations that it was a boy and that was enough for me to finally be like, okay, three things cannot be wrong. I'm definitely having a boy. I'm excited and I have to share this news. So you guys, I am so relieved to be able to share this news with you guys. I am so excited. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, this little virtual gender reveal video. Also, let me know down below if your guess was right or wrong. Let me know what you thought it was and were you right? So of course, I hope that you enjoyed this video because I really enjoyed being able to share the news with you guys. If you did like this video or if you're excited that it's a boy also, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. Leave me your comments down below until my next video. And if you haven't done it already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. As you see, I have all types of fun and different and crazy content coming out, you guys, because my life has been doing amazing things. So I want you guys to join and be a part of all of this as well. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging in there and being with me for all these years. Or if you're new, thank you for joining now. I have more videos to come, so I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.